Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the featured contracts, and today's contract, The Hong's Massacre, The Hong's Remade, set in Chongqing, and today's contract is up on the screen for anyone who wishes to have a go, and has been supplied to us courtesy of Knight Rider 1313. So today's briefing, the Hongs own this restaurant that secretly sells cocaine as a side business. This cocaine has ruined the client's daughter's life. She's sad and angry since the police won't help due to there being not enough evidence to support the claim. So she has come to us for the help and the clock is ticking, good luck. So today we have five targets available to us with no stipulations on how we dispatch them and there is only one exit available on the map which is actually the roof apartment exit so for today's challenge we will be starting on the riverside walkway we will be bringing with us our silenced pistol a remote gas grenade in a briefcase and an agmatic gas grenade so right from the start and off the bat we need to make our way to the restaurant's entrance uh, we're going to stop on the stairs here first of all and retrieve our remote uh, eggmatic grenade and then replace it in the briefcase thus activating it and then we can continue on along the riverside walkway all the way around to the town square and up into the restaurant itself. Uh, when we enter the restaurant, we wanna make our way up the left-hand side of the stairs to avoid the enforcer sitting down at the end. We're gonna make our way into the bathroom, drop our briefcase there, we'll come back for that in a little while. We're gonna uh, duck out of the window, select our silence pistol, and we're gonna wait right here because our first two targets are in the kitchen. And we're just going to wait for this guy here to have his back to us at the nearest counter before we duck him through the window and we shoot him in the back and his colleague in the head. So that's him dealt with. Unfortunately we had a little skip there but I just walked up behind her and shot her in the head. We're going to hide both of the bodies in the crates provided. There are a crate and a chest freezer. We're also going to grab all of the loose objects in the room. So there's a cleaver, a knife and an apricot. We're also going to hide this body which we almost completely forgot about. So there we go. So once we have the knife we're going to now just duck down behind this counter and any second now the uh, restaurant manager, there she is, who is also one of our targets, will make her way through the room but she has been accompanied by this uh, waiter or staff member here so we can't move and we don't want to move until his colleague you can see also passes through the room uh, about a minute or so later so at this point we need to distract our non-target chef or waiter whoever he is so we're going to throw one of our loose objects on the floor just over by the corner of that cabinet there now as you can see this is why I said to grab all of the loose objects because this guy doesn't always react. Sometimes he reacts, sometimes he doesn't as you can see. But when you get him to react we can then wait for him to come and investigate, get behind him, render him unconscious. We're going to hide his body with his colleague in the freezer. There we go, select our silence pistol and walk up to the restaurant manager and put a bullet in her head. There we go. Now just be aware of the windows that the ca people can see through. So if someone's walking past outside while you do this, you will be spotted. So just be keep that in mind. But once we have the restaurant manager safely tucked up in the crate, we're gonna exit the kitchen via the window scoot along back to the bathroom we're going to retrieve our briefcase and then select our igmatic grenade 
hopefully without picking up the rat poison and climbing in the crate first or at all so once we have our suitcase we're going to select our grenade and hide that away and we're going to make our way out into the restaurant and to our final two targets who are at the table at the back here and we're just going to get into position and we're just going to throw the grenade as close as we can to them be aware of the patrolling waiter who's coming around wiping tables as long as he's not around that's the guy I'm on about you should be perfectly safe to throw the grenade take a step back that will make both of the targets sick and they will both go to different locations depending on uh, how you landed your grenade doesn't really matter who goes to the bathroom whichever one it is we're going to follow them in we're going to drop our briefcase again and we're going to subdue whoever makes it to the bathroom now you don't want to rush this because once you've knocked this person out if the other target is still quite close they will turn around and use the bathroom and you won't have time to get your first target out of the window so you want to do that quite slowly but once your first target is out of the window we're then going to select our gas grenade remote and we're going to go and position ourselves just over by the table here and we're going to wait for the return of our final target who is currently outside throwing up in a bin and if I was this man I would not be returning to the restaurant that has just made me sick especially after I get sick a second time moments after sitting down and not even sampling the food so once the target has sat down we're going to walk up behind him trigger the remote gas grenade and we're going to wait once again by the bathroom I'm going to leave my briefcase there so the patrolling waiter will come along eventually and spot that and distract him away so once our target makes his way into the bathroom we're just going to follow him in close the door and we're going to drown this one in the toilet so there we go that is our five targets all that's left for us to do now is to make good our escape and as I mentioned there is only one exit available the rooftop apartment so we're going to run straight across the square once leaving the restaurant into the laundromat or laundromat and we're going to use the code on the door 10118 that will grant, grant us access to the stairwell and we're just going to run all the way up the stairs through the room with the two enforcer guards further up all the way to the top onto the rooftop where the sniper is located and we're just going to hang a quick left and out our apartment door so there we go one more featured contract taken care of i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video